Professor Mike Wingfield is the founding director of the Forestry and Agricultural Biotechnology Institute, FABI, of the University of Pretoria, South Africa. For the past several years, he has also served as vice president responsible for divisions with EUFRO, the International Union of Forest Research Organizations. And this week, the word vice was dropped from his title as he was appointed president of the organization. Congratulations and welcome, Professor Wingfield, or should I say, Mr. <laughs> president. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bob. It's great to be with you. Now, let's start with the presidency. Yeah. You're going to be in that position for how long? For five years. Five years. So it's a long term. What would you hope to accomplish in those five years? Well, there are many, many challenges for UFRO. Uh, UFRO is an incredibly diverse organization and an incredibly exciting one to work with. We have, as you know, nine divisions and many in the region of 260 working parties. And I think that the most important role, firstly, for the president is to ensure continuity and activity. So to guide the organization in terms of productivity, that's research productivity, in all the fields of forestry, and it's hugely diverse, that UFRO is responsible for. How will you go about that? Well, the good, the good part is uh, one, one has division coordinators. There, there are two vice presidents that are responsible for the divisions, one for the divisions and the other for what we call the task forces. We, we are in the process now of defining what the new task forces will deal with. We'll have that process completed around January next year. So the two vice presidents really take care of those two major activities. I, I will obviously have to guide that process. So there's an, an amazing team that makes this amazing organization work. I will okay, be now, guiding that. In your vice presidency, you were the divisions fellow. That's, yeah, that's right. pretty much the science guy. Right? Yeah. Now you're also going to have to be the policy guy. Right. So does that cause a major recalibration? It does cause a, a calibration to some extent. As you say, I've been responsible for the science side of UFRO, the division side. Well, there's, there's science in the task forces as well. Um, but my own background is very much on, you know, hands-on biological science. Uh, I've been in the leader, leadership position in the academic world for a long time, so I understand policy and the governance very well. But there's a great deal in UFRO that is outside, directly outside my own comfort zone. Yeah. The good part is that we have incredible people. Um, for instance, the executive director, Alexander Book, who is fantastic in terms of policy. So I'm also going to be taking a lot of guidance I from see. those with experience. Good for you. Now, over the past few years, it seems to me that UFRO has had a much closer relationship with uh, IFSA, the International, Student, uh, International Forestry Student Association. Why has that happened, and do you think that's something you will also continue? It's a very, very important question. I'm really, really excited about encouraging the participation of youth, the youth, younger uh, forestry scientists in the future of forestry research. And as you say, we've developed, established a close relationship with EFSA over the last few years. It's been exciting for me to be going through that uh, process of being at board meetings where EFSA uh, executives have joined us. They are wonderful young people with incredible enthusiasm and we are taking this relationship very seriously. I will do everything in my power to support them. My plan is to be at every one of their annual conferences. It's a, it, it's a big ask, it's a big task, uh, and really to help them as far as possible. And I'll take, if you don't mind, just one extra angle, being the first president of UFRO from Africa, I would like to try as hard as I can to engage young forestry researchers from Africa and, and the rest of the developing world, those areas that have not been receiving the kind of attention that they need to receive. You don't believe in set, sort of setting the bar too low, do you? You sound like you're setting it pretty high. I'm setting the, the bar high and I think I, I believe in looking upwards, not downwards. Uh, it's, it's going to be a challenge. It's a, it, it, it is a huge job, but I believe that we can do lots more and I'm going to enthusiastically get on with the job. And what will happen to your day job? At uh, Fabi. At Fabi. Fabi. Um, I, I, I use Fabi uh, like fabulous. Uh, okay. fa fabulous yeah. Fabi forestry and food. Uh, Fabi is a wonderful institute, now 17 years old, and uh, and I, I had the privilege of being the founder director. So, uh, what has grown to an, a very large institute with a big international footprint um, started with something relatively small. I will continue to be the director of Fabi for the next uh, some years. That, that's not determined. 
Uh, that, that's part of the value proposition from the University of Pretoria. They're supporting me financially and, and other, right. other ways, but the deal is I need to also take care of Fabi. But again, I have an, an amazing team of uh, le a leadership team in Fabi that will look after things as well as I can when needed. Well, Mr. President, I wish you all the best over the next five years. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate it.